isn't it fascinating how the same question put two different ways can make somebody either feel absolutely amazing or like absolute poo. Let's talk about it. Good morning everybody, Josh Ezell, Breakthrough Property Resources, home of your brokerage, property management, and handyman services. If you haven't tried us out, please give us a call. We'd love to impress you. All right, let's jump right in because these questions are awesome. Uh, in sales, in life, friendship, just dealing with people, questions are the, the secret answer, truly. It's fascinating. So, the right question put two different ways will get two completely different responses. Now, in what we're talking about here, our goal is not to make people feel like poo. Our goal is to build people up, right? So, today's focus is geared towards uplifting people, right? People don't care how much you know until they care, know how much you care. How do you show you care? By showing interest, by being interested in people you are in turn interesting, right? So by building people up, by making people feel valuable, smart, uh, whatever it is, that is one way to kind of lower walls, build rapport, and get to that next step so fast. I mean, oh man, I had, um, I had a buddy Harv, and I'm telling you, this guy could not go anywhere without walking out with a group of friends. And he, I mean the guy, I, this is not bad because the guy is absolutely awesome. But truly speaking, he is the epitome of your average man. He was not great looking. I mean, he was really funny. He was reasonably successful. But truly speaking, the secret to his success was to just not have any walls up with people and to be friends with everybody. And the way he did it was to just ask questions of everybody he was around. So, I value your opinion. I value your education. Whatever it is, this preface to any question is awesome. Hey, are you local? Do you know your way around here? Hey, have you been here before? Hey, I'm new to this place. I value your opinion. Okay, so I value your opinion, education, ideas, experience. Um, I value your knowledge, your local stuff. I value your interest in certain things. You've been around this hobby for so long. I mean, everybody has something that they either know about, are knowledgeable about, or that you could even just ask them if they are that person, right? Let's say you're on vacation and you're driving around, right? You roll down your window and you say, hey, I'm on vacation here, do you know this area? Boom, that person has an opportunity to feel awesome and be of use and actually do something incredible for you. By them doing something incredible for you, it makes them feel amazing. Without realizing it, that simple question just empowered somebody greatly. Right? We're so focused on ourselves that we don't realize the impact of questions. Okay? So, to go along with these is a group, here's just a group of other questions. So, hey, I value your opinion about um, movies. Uh, what did you like or dislike about that movie you saw last week? Um, hey, you, you went to ASU, right? What was your favorite thing about going to that school? Hey, you have a Toyota, right? What's your favorite thing or what's your, what do you like most or dislike most about your car? Coming up to somebody and asking them what did you like or dislike about something gives them a chance to just really share. It's a wonderful question. Hey, how do you feel? Okay, about whatever, right? It could be, hey Phil, how are you feeling today? Hey Sarah, how do you feel about this? Hey Bill, how do you feel about this? Just asking people how they feel about whatever. And don't preface it. Just give them the freedom to have an opinion. Okay? 
one of the best things in the world. Um, biggest thing about this one though is let somebody answer fully and that is my issue. Talking to the camera, I'm not used to waiting for people to respond a lot of the time. And if I'm on a flow, it is so hard, I'm telling you. Gosh, this is, this is, you know, we're right here together for this one. All right, generic questions. These are awesome. Okay, ready? What do you do? Um, do you have a family? Uh, what kind of things do you like to do? And when anybody answers these questions, keep it going. That is, that is the key, right? Hey, um... So, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a flight attendant. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so interesting. So, um, what's your favorite thing about it? What do you like most about being a flight attendant? Right? That is so interesting. Um, so, what kind of things do you like to do while you're gone? There are so many things that you can do to tie into what do you do? Do you have a family? And then, last but not least, what kinds of things do you like to do, right? My favorite question of all time, and here we go. What's your favorite whatever? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite car? What's your favorite brand? What's your favorite boat? What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite color? There are so many ways to go with what's your favorite. It is one of my, oh man, it's one of my favorite questions in the world. What's your favorite part of town? What's your favorite uh, style of home? What's your favorite feature in a home? What's your favorite, you name it. What's your favorite person in history? <laughs> you know, it's, oh, there's no limit to what's your favorite. And then the best question above or below to follow up with it. Really? That's fantastic. That's really interesting. Why is that? Boom, you're done. That's, you, they can just go off and you just keep going, listen. And the more they talk to you, the more interesting you are. How amazing is that? All right, that's it for today. Leave your comments below. Which of these is your favorite question? Uh, did I miss one that you use? Is there anything that we should be utilizing and implementing in our conversations? Um, I won't, I'll gladly mention them on these next videos. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey everybody, Josh is all Breakthrough Real Estate and Property Management slash Handyman Services. We got you covered, whether it's selling, buying, leasing, property management, uh, multitudes of handyman services. We got you covered. Give us a call. Um, we are absolutely happy to help. And as our slogan states, we are the breakthrough needed in these industries. If you're a struggling realtor, we have the systems for you to succeed. If you're an owner or investor, we are the people who take care of your property. We take care of it as if it's our own, I mean, if not better. Uh, our success is predicated on your success. When it comes to handyman services, we started this service because we've been burned so many times in the last decade by other handyman. We are the breakthrough needed in this industry. If you want somebody that actually shows up and shows up on time, that gets the job done affordably, we're your group, right? So if there's anything we can do for you, don't hesitate to give us a call, give us a message. And uh, while you're at it, if you're digging these tidbits, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, wherever they are, I need to figure this one out. <laughs> and um, please share this community, I appreciate it so much.